for the shattered tibia you know with the high availability of the high motor bikes we are getting these kind of fractures yeah. very regularly for those who are high bikes fast moving bikes are there so uh, this is a patient this is a young patient of 24 years riding a very high speed bike skid uh, with the and he hammered the uh, the mild uh, stone and then got fracture of the shattered tibia so what are the options do we have anybody can think about so this is a metaphyseal combination extending to extending to diaphysis i think uh, it's not uh, not that combined uh, not the compound fracture but it's abrasions because of the he has skid the uh, from the motorcycle it is then high energy accident so firstly soft tissue uh, consideration should be taken but uh, final fixation after reducing the edema is you should have a medial as well as lateral plate uh, for fixation of this type of fractures anybody has any other ideas yes sir yeah. first put a intercondylar screw and then pass elastic nails from mm -hmm. elastic nails elastic nails okay yeah. only and put a plaster no need to put a plaster elastic from nails condyles, from the condyles downwards in the lower end tibia from and the maintain interior. the length okay external fixer to some sort of external fixer okay anybody wants to do uh, primary plating or a primary nailing anybody nailer i think i saw the vivek trika to do a nailing in the suprapatellar for such fractures i think okay nail how from the same thing posterior put one intercondylar screw hold it together do a suprapatellar nail and uh, pass a plate laterally at day 1 day 1 one so we do expect a lot of swelling as you can see from here Correct. so uh, day 1 external fixator he spanning all along and getting that intercondylar percutaneous clamp and one screw and then later on slide a plate laterally a long very long hockey stick and maybe if required a medial as well but once the skin and soft tissues uh, if required or you will uh see if required means why 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 do you want to why you want to think over it if the whole metaphyseal combination is coming up with the lateral plate long lateral plate then it may not be required so chetan the there was a phase when we used to think of bi columnar plating for such fractures uh but the problem is the medial plate which is really subcutaneous so if for such junctional comminuted fractures you put a, a central nail intramedullary that obviates the need of medial Real plate Great. same way in lower end femur Uh, for comminuted lower end femur if you put a central intramedullary nail it medial takes away level. the need of medial plate sir may i yes please because if you will find that there is a split exactly at the insertion side of this so if uh, you put a nail it will happen it will separate the it will splay so before that you put a intercondylar screw which will act as a polar screw let's say yes anteroposteriorly you have to fix nobody first. nobody wants to know further what i have, uh, what i am going giving it to you <laughs> so now is sunil you can speak so these are the very massive soft tissue injuries comminuted and difficult to reduce so uh, will we go uh, that dissection is the method is to have a indirect reduction as you see uh, that so the so plating and expix will be the Uh, the crafts where the nailing i think little as i said dr agash sir the ear overkill with the nailing so uh, this is uh, the external fixator which we added because it's a massive soft tissue injuries he was not having a compartment syndrome but 
a massive swelling. Unfortunately, I don't have the. Sunil, uh, now if you see the, hey, you think it can be easily nailed along with an intraarticular screws? Yeah, expert like you, we can do it. It's a huge battle oh, aspect. Not, not expert. an expert, Sunil. Only, come on, Sunil. Now we have uh, so beautiful nails with so many proximal screws, multi-directional, multi-angular. It's possible, man. No, like only worry is whether the purchase of the screws. The purchase now, of the screws. I, I was templating a plate along in the first case, in the first X. Once you have scanned it, scanned it, you can see the lateral wall also as well as the medial chunk. They are huge. You can put in three to four screws which are there in the suprapatellar nails nowadays with all the things. Four screws can easily go into. Yeah. Can I have a pointer? And, and there is only one crack which is going intra-articular which yes. can be easily held and which will with be held one with screw. screws. Here, That's what we are doing for this. This will here, it now go with suprapatellar nail. Here, here, this part, hmm. the front screws part. of the nail also will be able to hold that one. I was a little bit uh, uh, at this today. Yeah, around three four <laughs> years back, maybe would have. But Vivek, I predicted that even three four days back. That's what I'm trying to tell. <laughs> Before the spanning. Uh, okay. No, no. Anybody wants to have any, any other option? Achha, what did you do? Abhi dekha de kya kya hai. Dekha I did this. Yes. Not okay. the safest, sir. I would no, still no, not no. say it is the safest. Let's not say the medial okay. side is you are putting in a soft tissue compromised plate, two plates on either side. I agree it is a MIPO. Uh, other better method of doing a MIPO is a nail with a plate. Because the prevention of virus. The prevention of virus is the important aspect of this. Intramedullary nail all the way down. And, and don't think the intramedullary nail will alone will prevent virus. virus. Will. will. This extensive combination. Huh? Problem. Because I feel it has, it has come extremely well. Can be done by any other source. No, no, I think what Dr. Trika is mentioning, do you expect a soft tissue problem, Trika? We have not seen the soft tissues till now, sir. Huh? This, uh, with this amount of swelling, with this amount of combination, how do you, it is maybe only Sunil can do it with the, such a good planning and the... All no, the no, he has not done it on day one. On the he has waited practice. for that. Even then, I waited for 10 days. We need ha, to look ha, at so topic. what was your timing of doing In both the plates? Days, 10 days. 10 days. Six weeks first. And, and you did both the plates together? Yeah, plate the plates together, of course. And did you have any soft tissue issues no. after plating? I'll show you. So the ones, the message yeah, I want to give jara, is... Jara, jara, skin bhi dikha dena. Dikha da hona, sir. So this is the very... We were discussing my uh, father G.S. Kulkarni and me that whether this stability has become very rigid because we are getting a bicondor replating. So this is a relative stability, not the absolute stability. That is very important that comminuted fragments, if you try to do a bicondor replating, you must have good stability. You see the homogeneous callus formation along and this is, yeah. Immediate post -op? No, no. This is. No, no. This is in between. I have just cut down. I have our entire entire range of action. I just wanted to cut down the uh, number of slides so that we can get. Sunil. Yeah. You know, I have done many of my columnar platings like this. Okay. After doing some few, it's good. It's a fantastic way of dealing with the things. The uh, period which is required for radiological consolidation and to see it on X-ray gets delayed, but it holds the, everything in place, avoids virus, completely agreed. But this medial plate becomes really subcutaneous for patient. That's the problem. It's and a thin that's plate. Where, that's where hey, it's only feel. It's a thin, thin plate. It's not a Are high profile. This hai. is a 3.5 plate. This is not a low profile plate. Even if, even it if it is thin, it is subcutaneous. It doesn't matter. Problem is the 3.5 medial plates, you do not get them that long. Did you make get, it get maximum this is, this is 12, 12 to 14 holes? This is a this is a synthesis plate. 
तब तो जरूर इट इज अवेलेबल नाउ इंडियन दिस इज द लॉन्गेस्ट दैट यू वुड गेट दिस इज यू विल गेट नाउ एनी प्लेट एनी इंडियन प्लेट आल्सो गिव्स लॉन्ग एंड आई एग्री विद द 17 दैट दे बिकम वेरी सबक्यूटेनियस इट डजंट मैटर आई थिंक यू हैव टू वेट द सॉफ्ट टिश्यूज टू हील दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू कांट जस्ट डू इट इन अ डे वन वेट फॉर 6 मंथ्स सुनील यू विल बाय नेल एंड प्लेट कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर दिस दैट्स गुड लेट्स सी okay so the learning is this is not a uh, relative stability this is a relative stability so virus collapse is to be prevented as when another patient similar exactly similar patient uh, see the ct scan again and uh, this fellow after 2019 he did not come and then he landed up yesterday we are taken on 30th see the timing is 30th of march Him and see the callus formation on the medial side. So uh, now we are, I have almost on 31 cases so far with excellent uh, stability. So it is the message is to have a excellent stability of the on giving on the relative stability for the shattered femur fractures, shattered tibia fractures. Again, say again, sir. Yeah, yeah, he is absolutely no problem. I'll show the this. See, there is there is he sitting there, no problem on the medial side. It looks like a little away because it's a mipo. We have done the stab incision to get two screws. Just it's a medial buttress plate. But this is very important to prevent the virus. May I ask one question? Yes, oh, sir. Out of thirty-two cases, how many of them had an infection and they require a secondary procedure? Infection, superficial infection because of the compound injury. Because they are all are high velocity injuries. Some have got abrasions, some have got open one or two, and then those who have. But there is no any major any injury, and uh, there is no, and they are not ready to do any implant removals also because it's extremely difficult to remove this implant. I'm not sure about there whether this can go into fracture. Uh, still, uh, started uh, about five years back, and. Uh, No problem with the uh, soft tissues, uh, as uh, was telling. There is no problem. Uh, nobody complains of the plate on the medial side, and one only problem is that you should always see that one of the plate is longer than the other. They should not be at the same level because it may stress cause fracture. a stress fracture. So one should be longer than the other. That's the only one thing that would come. Uh, I think this is a very good method of uh, treating such. If you are complex fracture, nailing in these patients, nailing in this fracture will how will you pass the nail? Because it is extremely difficult to negotiate all these fragments. You really need to have a superhuman to get that all the fragments in between. Because if you try to put a nail and some fragments go on the medial side or a lateral side, then the nail will be exposed and nail will be center and the bone fragments will be on the other side of the bone. So that is what is happening. See this. That is the reason. After this, see this. There is a there is a the, the fragments. If you put a part of the nail, the nail will be exposed here in between MT, and there is a high chance of getting into failure. Okay. Next case, sir. Okay. Next case, please. 